Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The name of our website is Habib Metropolitan Bank. Here we are presenting how we evaluated the uh, website and how we are improving our existing system through heuristic evaluation. My group members are Khadija Shahid, Aisha Abdul Sattar and Friha Faryal. The first point that we are going to present is Website Heuristic Evaluation. This is heuristic evaluation of our website. The first point in the evaluation was visibility of the system. Uh, how our system is user friendly and how it is easy for the users to interact with our website. The second point is match between system and the real world. How our system relates with the real world and the picture provided uh, on our website hints you about the content in the menus that we provide. The user control and freedom, how you uh, how our website uh, allows a user to search for different things and uh, the home button for directly going to the home page, etc. Consistency and standards, how the website is consistent and the information is followed by a heading and there is no ambiguity and uh, error prevention, how it facilitates uh, the users by detecting the errors while filling a form or any information in the fields. Then recognition rather than recall, it provides the facility of you uh, recall by just showing you icons rather than the text, etc. The flexibility and efficiency of use, how it is flexible and uh, how uh, flexible and efficient is our website that it uh, saves the recent information like username etc aesthetic and minimalist how it uh, have no extra data uh, no relevant data and help users with errors how it uh, provides users help by producing a solution to recover the errors and how Help and documentation guides the users to ask, uh, solve their queries through frequently asked questions and their answers. The next point of the uh, presentation is website designing. How we redesigned our website, existing website, based on the heuristic evaluation. This is the existing web. Uh, this is the redesigned website. We added here the home button. There was no home button on the existing website. Then the person module has so many sub modules. We cut off some of the modules that were extra in the personal module and we just place it in some other module. Then we have here business module. Then we have international module. This is services module. This was added by us. This was not in the existing website. We uh, added some of the uh, some of the de details from personal and business that were related to the services. This is e-services. This is information center, and here is news and event. Then on the above we have. Uh, Abhi bank number, web banking, OPR login, ATM branch locator, IBAN generator, and the language selector. On the personal page, we have this. These were the uh, sub modules, and uh, these were the changes that we made in the existing website. Now moving forward to the next point that were the responses that we received in heuristic evaluation that was carried by our other group of the class. These are the responses that we did not accept.
here are some of the points like match between system and real world we did not agree to their uh, evaluation and we did not accept their evaluation because the bank has provided chinese language for the chinese customers as well because we have good relationship with china and there are many companies that are establishing their business uh, there are many chinese companies that are establishing their business in pakistan so it is a good and friendly uh, gesture towards the chinese customers that will open their accounts consistency and standards uh, here what they evaluated was not related to the point i think they did not get what consistency and standards actually means the third one was aesthetic and minimalist design our web according to us our website was aesthetic and minimalist throughout and uh, the two points that they highlighted was customer charter and careers there was no extra and irrelevant information in both these points as it only contains information that was essential this is all for not accepted responses now we will move forward the accepted responses of the heuristic website that was carried by the group that evaluated our website was these were the points that we accepted visibility of the system yes we have uh, our website that is visible for their users user control yes our website do provides user control and freedom it also provides error prevention and it do uh, have the features of recognition rather than recall like we have the icons of facebook twitter youtube etc then flexibility and efficiency of use this uh, this is a point that is applicable that is also applicable on our website yes our website is efficient and flexible our uh, our website also do help users to recognize diagnose and recover from errors so this was also accepted help and documentation is also provided in our website for the customers that have queries and uh, we also do provide their solutions that was all for the accepted responses the next one was your critic to improve the critics from our side for the website were that the website should add our native language to facilitate the citizens as we live in pakistan and the english is not our native language most citizens of pakistan do not clearly speak or understand english so yes uh, the bank should have the facility of the urdu language as well the google map that is added on the website is not connected to the gps which does not provide the exact location so it should get connected to the google gps then the color scheme of the website existing website was very grayish and black tones there was no other colors they should add some colors that attracts the users and makes it more presentable the next point is that they should also provide some special facilities and services for the minorities as they have provided many of the services for their users that are either age privileged or uh, fixed accounts etc then there is no uh, notice for the locker holders that put their valuables in lockers that what happens if they lose their valuables in any mishap or any incident that happens with the bank either bank robbery or bank caught up with fire or something else the last point is that the website should get updated frequently as the last update was in 2016 january 7 so the bank should keep updating their website to avoid errors etc this is all from my side thank you so much